Hello everyone, Father Bert here from my video review. This time we have, excuse the noise, <laughs> Asda's chocolate honeycomb. Um, covered in smooth milk chocolate, yeah. <laughs> so it's basically, um, yeah, you can see here, uh, it's kind of like Maltesers, but with, uh, I guess, a more of a honeycomb sensor. So I thought uh, I was, you know, perusing the uh, chocolate pile the other day, and I, I saw these and thought I had to, um, had to give them a review, really, because I'm not really like anything, any mass market mainstream chocolate. So um, I thought, why not? Uh, yeah, we've got quite a big, uh, big bag there with them. Um, hmm. Quite a plain packaging, I guess it's got the Asda symbol there. Asda, for those in the US or maybe the, you know, outside the UK, um, probably might have heard of Walmart. So Asda is basically owned by Walmart, so it's that kind of supermarket. Um, Walmart being the big US supermarket. Um, yeah, basically, like most supermarkets, have their own home brands, their own brands. Uh, is it home brand or own brand? I'm not sure. Probably both, who knows. But anyway, whichever one it is, they've got this. They have their own sets of chocolates. Um, yeah, and this is uh, one such one. They don't have many of them. Usually they're just copies of things, like copies of the other own, you know, take on Snickers or Mars or uh, something like that, you know. Um, and they just call them something else, like fluffy chocolate bites or something. I don't know. And they, um, yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, but this one seems to be quite unique. So I thought, you know, why not? Um, so just try me love me and um, so it will be fun to replace if you're not 100% happy uh, but if you don't like them why would you want them to replace I mean, it says refund and replace so. hmm. okay so it's a 140 gram bag it gives you uh, typically in, uh, per 100 grams on the back so it's not overly great um, but anyway it's 495 calories per 100 grams 22 grams of fats 14 of which are saturates so if I've not done so already I'll probably put a caption on for, for the whole bag um, yeah, so I won't try and work it out. <laughs> yeah, so as I say, yeah, 495 calories, 100 grams. So it's roughly half again, roughly, but a bit less, of course. Uh, 22 grams of fat, 14 of which are saturates. So there we go. So quite calorie for the whole bag. We're talking a good 700 calories. Uh, it's quite a lot. Let's see if we do get quite a lot in here. I don't think I'm going to count these, I think it's a bit of a waste of time. I think we can hopefully see. Wow, they come in there. Uh, look at that. Loads of them. They come in a variety of sh shapes and sizes. And so you can see this huge one here, this very small one here. Um, there's a few huge ones. That's really good. <laughs> right, that's a lot of like that, yeah. Um, well, there's not really much point in measuring them, is there? I mean, I think. You know, yeah, they're all random sizes, aren't they? You know, but uh, rough. This one's around uh, two and a half centimeters wide, whereas you know, you've got like this one here, <laughs> which is like a little, very small sphere. And that's kind of like 0 0.6 centimeters, 0 0.7 maybe wide. So, yeah, they 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 come in uh, vastly different sizes, um, but I quite like that. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's quite nice when you look at them as well. Too. I see them there. That's quite a uh, yeah. I quite like that. I like that. I like that. Um, okay, let's chop one in half. I think. Chop one of the moderate ones, the moderately sized ones. So I'll chop it in half if I can. It's honeycomb. There we go. I can. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically it is a bit does look a bit like the sense of a crunchy bar, Cadbury's crunchy, which is honeycomb. You can see quite a thick chocolate there, which I like. Yeah, good, uh, good, a good uh, few millimetres there. It's measurable. Yeah, two or three millimetre thick thickness of chocolate. Obviously, you know, I'd be surprised if the thickness was the same on this one, but it could be. Let's try, let's try giving it a, a cut. Yeah, probably is as well. The chocolate covering is probably about the same around them all, really. Um, so it's really thick chocolate, yeah. Mm, like that a lot. Okay, I think. Uh, well, I think just give it a taste. Hmm. Mm. Well, it's not quite the same. I mean, if you've ever tasted, it's basically not too dissimilar to something like a cabbage crunchy, but it, the but the honeycomb is a bit less chewy um, and a bit more dissolving in your mouth and it's a bit sweeter as well. 
Hmm. Yeah, so the, so the honeycomb can be as crunchy, which is the closest I can think of. To compare it to, kind of, um, it becomes a bit chewy as you're eating it. Because this one kind of just dissolves in your mouth. Um, and it's a bit sweeter, a bit sweeter, maybe. The chocolate's, um, because it dissolves, the chocolate's quite prevalent. It's okay. Um, the chocolate's a bit short-lived as well, really. It doesn't really have a massively strong taste, it's more of a texture. Um, it's not unpleasant chocolate, actually. It doesn't taste cheap or, you know, anything like that. It just doesn't really have much of a oomph to it. There's no real taste like there is with, say, Cadbury's chocolate or any other chocolate, really. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really a strong taste to either the honeycomb or the chocolate. Um, yeah, there's a kind of strong taste to the <clears throat> to the honeycomb that sticks in your throat. You know, so you can tell you've been eating something like that, but it's not really present in it when you're actually tasting it. Um, hmm. Yeah. A funny one. Um, I don't dislike it. Um, it's just not very strong. It's just not a. The chocolate's not, you know, while thick, it doesn't really have a taste to it. Um, it's not unpleasant. It's got a nice consistency. It's uh, not really creamy or anything like that. It's uh, quite a nice chocolate to, to eat as such, you know, but it's not sickly or anything. Um, hmm. I don't know, just to get a stronger, a stronger taste as you would do in something like a Maltesers or a Crunchy. Um, yeah, Crunchy is not a, my favourite chocolate bar. You know, they're a bit. Um, I think I probably would rather have the Crunchy to this. Although these are quite nice because they're just the way you can eat them. Um, you know, it's quite you know it's quite nice to eat these little spheres with weird shapes and things. But um, I think a Crunchy and they last a bit longer. But Crunchy just generally has a nicer taste. Um, you know, the, the, the honeycomb in that is just a bit stronger. It's a bit more substantial and it's a bit chewier as well. It sort of lasts a bit longer and um, has something a bit more about it. Whereas this one, so it's got a crunch when you bite it. Um, but there's no real strong taste of that honeycomb. There's no real strong taste of the chocolate either. So obviously while it's there and you get the textures and sensations of chewing it and biting it in there. Hmm. It melts in your mouth, it's just all a bit subtle. And you can tell those honeycombs there, there's a subtle honeycomb taste, but um hmm. it's definitely um not a strong one, so hmm. They're okay these, but I don't think I'd uh, be bothered about buying them again, I think, for, for ticking a honeycomb craving or anything like that. Um and so there's nothing wrong with them, there's nothing that's not nice about them, but there's just nothing that's Particularly nice either, they're just very, um, there's just not really much taste to them. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's a shame, but um, hmm. I think three out of five. I do like them, as I say, but they're just not. Just a bit unremarkable. But, um, but as I say, I can quite happily nibble these. <laughs> just keep putting them in my mouth and then. Um, hmm. So, as I say, they are, you know, they are, they are nice and they do, um, you know, they do, <clears throat> you know, fill a gap, but, uh, but I think you'd rather have something else. Hmm. Hmm. Also, very easy to eat. <laughs> so, best stop. <laughs> hmm. But, yeah. Hmm. Let's finish this off. <laughs> um. Yeah, just quite unremarkable. But, it's, you know, it's a shame, but it's a good attempt to do something a bit different. Um, you gotta see how, as they're doing this one, just copying something else, but, um, Hmm. Yeah, it's just a shame that the flavours are a bit weak, um, because it could be onto a winner with this really, but unfortunately not. So never mind. Three out of five. <laughs> okay, guys, so enjoyed that review. Uh, please like my videos and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Um, as always, leave a comment or two. It's always great to hear from you. Um, you know what you like or whether you like these or don't like them or anything like that. It's always great. So hopefully, I'll hear from you soon. Okay, thanks everyone. Take care. See you later. Bye.